we were uh, doing a lot of uh, testing and then we were working on the process of fermentation and I got an enthusiastic email from uh, Professor Sara Lebeer. He was always uh, writing with a lot of passion about his fermentation and he was also paying attention to the microbiology behind. I was very excited because we uh, work in the kitchen and we have only this limited amount of, of actual knowledge of what we do. Fermentation is actually the transformation of organic foods into another food product which has some extra properties. A lot of people do see microbes in a negative light. People are scared because of sickness and illness. Actually, we need this contact with microbes for our immune system. So we are keeping everything so clean and also our food stuff are, is so sterile that our immune system is, is, has difficulties in, in learning how to work properly. In that way, we also are in favor of promoting, again, the consumption of fermented foods. Nowadays, I can order tuna belly from uh, Singapore, and within 12 hours, it can be at the front of my door here in Dranutuk. It's easy, and it's, there's no more challenge, I think, in that kind of cooking. What the real challenge is to, to see how far you can get yourself and your kitchen with just these local produce. We have a PhD student working on fermented vegetables. He has followed um, Rose in, in her kitchen. So we also learn from them how do they do it and then we mimic that in the lab. A lot of our things are hands-on and we're learning um, as we go and by taste. But when you look at the work that they're doing in the lab, they can really uh, open your eyes a little bit. The larger your collection of microbes to screen, the more chance we have to find something novel. It might also be a novel cure for certain diseases. She always seems to surprise me with new tests and new ideas and I'm going to see where they can bring it in the future. People's eyes are opening up a lot more about the, the world we live in and what we've done and uh, where we need to, to move in, in order to look after the environment that we're in. And I think we need to look back to the past to be able to, to move on and create a better future.